Gates frame spare working. Let's see if Walter makes an adjustment. The conditions are changing slightly. He's going with a little less hook. Now he comes up on the lane that's giving him the most trouble. Right. Monday night, did the U.S. help train terrorists attacking America? Find out on day one. Then, Mark Curry hosts a special night when the top names in sports and entertainment come together for the Jim Thorpe Pro Sports Awards, live all Monday night on ABC. few hand signals from Walter Ray Williams Jr. He made an adjustment on the left-hand lane, basically cutting the hook down even more and throwing a little harder. He was rewarded with a strike. Remember, the championship game is next. The tournament leader, Dave D'Entremont, who had a 15-1-8 loss one tie match play record. Best be a couple more strikes would be in the 190s. Possible 194 as fans look on, kind of best be rooters there, but to no avail as Bob can finish with five in a row and 194 is just not enough, Chris. They're Doug Wilson rooters too. Doug, our director. And the gentleman's name happens to be Doug Wilson of Canyon Ranch. I didn't know there were two. <laughs> I thought they broke the mold. <laughs> and now this guy, I know they had to break it. Bob Vespi. He'll be back. Oh, yes. And he's excited. Man that finished second in Markham, Canada. All right. Walter Ray has his match at hand, and he'll go against D'Entremont. He's kind of making a few slight adjustments here, which will be to his advantage in the championship match. And with that strike, it gives him a possible 770 for his first three games. Chris, he'll need a strike on the next two balls and 280 in the last game, and he can tie the all-time four-game record of 1050. And set, who set that record? Set in March of 1984. All right. That's an eagle's eye view. Of Walter, the 10 pin, 234. Just keep it together, Walter. Championship match next. The big D, Dave D'Entremont. 234. Third victory. Walter Ray Williams Jr. This appointment for Bob Vest.